Welcome to another edition of the Stack Supplement Podcast. We run down all of the top stories and exciting announcements shared on our jam-packed newsfeed from the past seven days. We're going to kick things off with a bit of admin and what better way to do it than with the latest in terms of the Stack Pavilion and next year's Arnold Sports Festival. We still have our Arnold giveaway, which I think we're going to put a bit more push behind. I just we've been we announced it at the in September. We've had it roll in since then. Pretty much enter, begin to win a trip to the Arnold, all expenses paid, should be a damn good time. But the news we had on this front was that the latest entry on the list confirmed for the show is Pump Source. They were there this year, representing up on the corner, I think on the third aisle. And they were a damn good entrant, a very new brand, very young brand, very eye-catching, colorful and unique company. They are based entirely around their signature supplement, which is a bulk liquid glycerol based Stimulant free pump pre workout. They will be back for the second round of the Stack Pavilion and it should be another great entry, another great addition. We have, so they're going alongside Nutribio, Unbound, Ghost. That's the three, well, four brands in total confirmed, but Unbound, Nutribio, same company, umbrella company basically, and Unbound is now Unbound from Nutribio. So that's the three confirmed so far. We will have another one this week, another beast piece of admin that we shared was the rewards program tweak. So we'll be making a few of these over the next week or so once they sit down and kind of rattle out a few things. So we've made changes, tweaks along the way, including now you can log in on multiple devices. So you can log in with your account on your phone, your tablet, your computer, and no matter where you visit, they will still count up at one point a day. And won't log out of each one when you log into another and so on and so and so that longer will remain until you kind of I guess clear your cash or cookies and whatnot just make sure you use the same email and we'll be adding a few more tweaks but one of the latest is the prizes this was something we had requested a few times basically it was for 30 points you get a sample 60 is a sample pack 90 points is a big sample pack, 180 is a, I think, sorry, 90 points is a big sample pack or basic supplement, 90 points, sorry, 180 points will be a more simple full-size supplement, or I guess a full-size supplement, or, and then the full-on 360, basically equivalent to 30 times, sorry, 30 points, 12 times, so 12 months is a full-size premium supplement or something like a five pound protein powder. Now, we weren't specific in what you could get. A lot of people pointed out they wanted to be able to choose. So we went through and we added a bunch of options. So now the 30, 60 points are still supplement sample and sample pack. The 90 is now either functional food sample pack, a, I think we have an energy drink potential in there, a larger sample pack, a basic standalone supplement, a creatine is in there. And then at the 180 point, that full size supplement, we have pre-workout. I think we have a fat burner in there as well. I think a box of energy protein bars and a case of energy drinks might be on the list as well. And then at the full on 360 point, we've now been specific like a premium pre-workout, a five pound large tub of protein powder, a stash of energy drinks. So we've been a little more specific and Again, as the program develops, we now have a few hundred members on there. We will refine those prizes so you can basically get better. Uh, same with our international availability. We have people that are registered that aren't within, aren't here in the US, but we are working to change that. So not obviously move everyone to the US, but offer the program out to others. It's very easy to find better shipping, good quality rewards and stuff in the US. It's a little more difficult to get them within that same price range international scale from here. So we've decided to work on, I think Canada's up first, that's a big extension, and then hopefully Europe. Once we find a place or a few brands that, or even just retailers that will kind of work on that, that is something that we will add. And so yeah, until then, keep racking up your points, you're not gonna lose them. And then when we add that country, eventually, hopefully, we'll be worldwide. And it's pretty, done pretty well. We've got a lot of great sponsors and companies helping us out in the US. And it's growing day by day. So it's a great way, a great program to get in. Basically, we were talking about this the other day. At the end of the year, after 360 points per se, of you know, as much points as you get per year, you can walk away with like a protein powder, a pre-workout, and maybe a little something else free. 
And all you could do is visit the site and keep up with everything that, that is going on in the industry. So a nice little fun thing. And then the last little bit of admin. We've got quite a bit, I guess, is we did a review of Ghost Sleep. Now, if you know Stacked at all, sleep is always been a priority for us, not in terms of we've had issues with sleep or the, like the team, like, hey, difficulty sleeping, get something to knock you out. It's mostly that that is always the window. Sleep is undoubtedly the window where you can maximize recovery. I guess post-workout can is also another big one. But in our experience, my experience specifically, when you have great sleep, when you have something that can elevate your deep sleep and even improve overnight recovery, it pays off big time in the sense that you'll wake up feeling like you didn't even work out yesterday. You can have such great sleep that you will be completely recovered. Now that can mean that your, your body's already completely recovered, rebuilt, regrowing. It can mean that you're about to smash it again today, get even more performance out of yourself because you feel great. There are a lot of benefits to that and quality sleep supplements are incredibly good when it comes to this and Go Sleep has that whole experience. Firstly, it helps you get to sleep. Secondly, and it's not a knockout thing like take it, you know, when you're walking, you fall asleep, drop on the floor type thing. You will be eased into sleep. It's a nice gradual, like you'll yawn, you'll be like, okay, I'm feeling tired, you go to bed, turn everything off you're out in a few minutes, well, at least I was. The unbroken ability of this, so the deepness of sleep was so good. There wasn't a broken night of sleep, whether it was a noise, take a piss, whatever it may be, just a late night thought, that just never happened. It was also phenomenal for when we were when I was traveling, when I was going from time zone to time zone, east and west, it was just so damn good at helping me adapt. And then the recovery, the next morning recovery was insane. It was just no matter what kind of workout I threw out that day or intensity I pushed myself through, I was not sore, noticeably less sore, if that makes sense, so comparative to norm. And then you're, it didn't fluctuate. One of the big things I, I dislike about sleep aids or the risky factors is if you have a supplement that knocks you out, if you break that sleep up, let's say your alarm kicks you out at an hour early, let's just say, whatever, you had a late night, you still gotta wake up at the same time, you feel shitty or groggy or whatever. Go sleep does not have that. That thing, I woke up, I had five hours sleep, six hours sleep one night, seven or eight, same kind of refreshed feeling. Once my eyes opened, I was good to go. It, it, hands down, one of my most favorite nighttime recovery supplements I've had in years. And I'm going back to like Muscle Farm, Bulletproof, Ronnie Coleman's, Resurrect PM. Is so good, and it's not. And it's I, I put down a lot to the colostrum. I'm a big fan and a big frequent user of that in terms of recovery, and just its gradual sleep effect, and just how it focuses greatly on deepness of sleep, not necessarily getting you to sleep and passing you out. Um, so that does it for the admin side. That took a little longer than expected. We're going to jump straight into the news, and we're going to try and do it swiftly. First up, we have news out of Australia where Zombie Labs. The Australian company that has previously won Newcomer of the Year, they have jumped into energy drinks. While the American market has seen an explosion of brands and newcomers into that space, this has not been exclusive to the US. We've seen this in Europe, we've seen this in the UK, we've seen it in, even in Asia a bit. But Australia has just kind of been home to it. There have been a lot of companies that <coughs> have been able to come out with energy drinks pretty swiftly. EHP Labs, the giant from down under, extensively available here in America, they have just done a great job at pushing it out there and, and, and they've got their own little unique take. That product, Oxy, Oxy Energy, Oxy Shred Energy, yes, I think, sorry, I <laughs> mixed that up. That is available extensively in its home country of Australia. It's just done a great job and there are many others out there. Zombie Labs is one of the latest to do that. It has come out with an energy drink called Stims. And obviously, it's pretty straightforward. It's heavily about energy and stimulants. And that kind of inherently in the name of the category, if you buy an energy drink, you inherently want energy swiftly, conveniently, wherever you are. It's, it's, it's a damn good concept, a very easy concept. It's a soda, which everyone's familiar with, and it gives you energy. It's no wonder it's a massive market. And yeah. Zombie Labs is coming out with stims, and I, I really like the angle they took on this. So keep in mind, the, the caffeine won't be ridiculously high. I imagine they'll get close. The maximum in Australia, I believe, is a 320 across a per liter, which means if you have a bottle of water, 
I don't even think they make them this big anyway. But let's just say you have a liter, the most caffeine you can have in there is 320. So if it's a 500 ml can, which is your equivalent to 16 ounce, that is 160 capping out at 160. And then that also applies. So if you go down to the 12 ounce, which is like, I think a 330, 355, similar scale down, I think, was that 105, 110, something like that, like don't know specifics. So we don't know the ingredients and dosages in the Zombie Labs beverage, but I suspect with a name like that, they're going top end, maybe 150 caffeine. And coming from a supplement company, the nutrition is guilt free. You got no, no sugar. I believe it's no sugar. Yeah, no sugar. And I imagine the calories are nice and low, but there are five flavors. And I thought it was very cool what they do with the flavors. You got things like Screaming Soda. This is, what's the other one? Ruthless. Is it Ruthless Raspberry Lemonade? They've obviously given it a twist, kind of a zombie feel to each flavor name, similar to what you get with the supplements. But I thought there was a really cool one called White Monster Killer. Well, I'm gathering this is inspired or at least kind of getting close to the legendary White Monster Ultra Energy Drink, which is indeed a legendary flavor in terms of uh, sugar-free drinks. And it's, yeah, White Monster Killer is on the Zombie Lab Stim menu. From there, we're actually going to go over to Monster Energy Drink, who had a bit of interesting news this week. And I thought this was pretty cool that we got insight into this, because typically this happens and you're just sitting there wondering where the, where the shit it's gone. So as something slipped out on Reddit. I, I don't, we don't know if this is official. Obviously, we just saw it looked pretty official. So according to this, Monster is discontinuing a few energy drinks. Now, Monster is a behemoth. It's got different lines in different regions around the world. It's, it's hard, it's impossible to keep track of unless you're a Monster employee. And even they, I think, would imagine have difficulty knowing what each region has and what or not. And so, yeah, it, it's a giant lineup. So it's no surprise that when they add so much as often as they do, there will probably be things that slip through the cracks. Um, again, you go through the years, you will have seen flavors just not be there anymore. I think one of the big ones that a lot of Monster fans have been saying is the Monster Ultra Black. Now that is around, it used to be all through convenience stores. That I believe is still on Amazon. I don't know if it's like a last run, but it's there consistently. Uh, so you can still get that. Now, among the list of products that they said they're going to discontinue, it's some pretty surprising ones. Again, given that this is reliable and true. Firstly, Strawberry Lemonade from Monster Rehab is going by. Aussie Lemonade, which only just launched not that long ago for the Juice Monster Energy Drink. That's getting thrown out. Java Monster 300, which to be honest was no surprise as they previewed the Monster Killer Brew at Nax and we got details on it prior, which is basically a full-size can, high caffeinated cans coffee drink. It is pretty much the same as Java 300. It's just got this different look again bigger size same 300 milligrams of caffeine obviously that's why i had the name java 300 but it goes under this whole killer brew brand it kind of like i think it's going to help separate it into its own kind of monster no pun intended from the regular monster java drink and the various flavors they have there and the same two flavors of the java 300 are available for the monster killer brew next there was also rain is getting rid of melon Ma melon mania Peach Nectarine Rainstorm is being dropped. Rainbow Unicorn Candy Crisp Apple Sour Heads and Wild and Watermelon are being said to be dropped from the Bang Energy Drink. Obviously, Monster is now owner of said company. And on the Ultra Family, our favorite, our top rated energy drink, we are losing, allegedly, Monster Ultra Rosa, which I thought was a very distinct taste. The thing is, is whenever you discontinue a flavor, especially when you're someone as big as Monster, there will be a lot of people that will just be disappointed. There's, if, if this thing wasn't selling, it wouldn't have been out there for more than a month. So obviously it was selling, it built a fan base, but it is being dropped. Now, I imagine they're dropping it. I can, the only thing I can reason I can imagine any drops anything is because it's not doing well. So while it might have a fan base, it might not be the biggest. And they might have added, they have added things that are quite similar to one another. Uh, and the other flavor they're dropping is Monster Ultra Red. And as far as I'm aware, this is the oldest, one of the oldest Monster Ultra flavors to be discontinued. Originally, it was obviously the Monster Ultra White that was the, the leader of the pack. And then we got, I'm pretty sure it came Ultra Blue and Ultra Red. Now, Ultra Blue is still out there, but Ultra Red, a distinct kind of flavor in its own, is 
apparently on the chopping block. And, and I get it, again, two flavors is, is a big deal when if you live by the Monster Ultra family, losing two is a big deal. But when you think about it, they've added far more than they're dropping. Uh, this year alone, we got Ultra Vice Guava, we got the Ruby Fantasy, we got Strawberry, Strawberry Dreams this year or last year? Maybe it was this year, I think. Maybe it was, that means we might have got three. So losing two for three is not bad. Two steps back, three steps forward. And then we've obviously got Ultra Blue Hawaiian, which I think is just a killer blue raspberry right around the corner. They've, they've done a lot. So I guess it was only a matter of time before we saw something fall off the map. I do apologize, I do think it is like, I'm pretty sure maybe strawberry came a little bit sooner. I'm trying to, I think maybe I'm, I'm getting mixed up here. Strawberry Dream might be last year. It bugs the crap out of me because yeah, it was last year. Yeah, I think Monster Ultra Fantasy was previewed at the end of last year. Then we got that launch at the start of the year. And then we had the Strawberry Dream. Yeah, that was a little bit longer. Either way, we've lost a few. We've lost a few soldiers, <laughs> but we're getting more. So it's, it's, it's great to see them keep the pressure on, keep expanding, especially in a, in, a, in a business where you've got guys like Ghost, guys like Rise, guys like Bucked Up, C4, constantly coming out with exciting flavors. As big as Monster is, it has been doing a great job at adapting and kind of keeping that flavor innovation fresh. And again, if we lose some people, I guess it's only fair, but it, it does, it's pretty cool to hear this, to be able to see this firsthand. And again, presuming this is all true. So if you're an Ultra Rosa fan and Red, for as long as you might have been a Red fan, it's been out there for a while, seems as though this is going bye-bye, as, as well as all those other ones with a huge chunk being taken out of Bang. But at the same time, they did confirm that Sour Ropes has been added to that family at the start of next year, which is a sour candy flavor. Next up, we're going to jump to, I'm trying to think, we announced Palm Sauce, Infinis. Infinis came out swinging over the weekend saying that, so Infinis has been quiet, it was <coughs> killer. Like, I don't think I've seen a new brand be as impressive as Infinite has since Glaxon. Uh, Glaxon, if you recall, came out swinging great new supplements when it hit the, hit the ground running. Uh, and then it only continued to add. And the good thing about Glaxon is that it wasn't doing like five pre-workouts or three protein powders or six fat burners. It wasn't sticking to categories. It, it dove into areas you just don't see brands do. And Infinite has followed very much the same path. Hopefully not the to the path where we haven't seen Glaxo so much anymore. But Infinis has just been relentless this year. They came out with two supplements, a superfood and a pre-workout. They've hit so many other categories. Muscle building with the testosterone booster and they just have straight anabolic. We've got several health and wellness supplements which were represented in the white branded stuff. They have been the best newcomer, even better I think, than what Glaxon was back in the day. Probably one of the best newcomers I've seen in many, many maybe forever, which might give you a nod as to our nominees for Newcomer of the Year. But it's not done. As busy as that brand has been, dropping probably like six, seven new supplements for categories you just don't see many brands hit, let alone as complex as Infinite has, it is planning to squeeze in eight more supplements before the end of the year. And with only, what, seven or eight weeks left to go, they're going to start rolling out pretty swiftly. They did say... We did an interview with the owner not that long ago. He said they were hitting protein. He said they had big plans for other categories. There was just time and capital and money, it seems like, or we'll run runtime at the production line. Uh, and now he's he's getting ready to, to, to throw it out there. Now, I don't know anything about what he's coming out with. I do talk to the guy. God knows what they're doing. But I'm extremely excited to see see it all unfold. I'm on a big stack of Infinite right now, trying it out for the first time for the, for the next two, three months, they've just been incredibly impressive. And I can guarantee you, no matter what they bring out, it's going to be robust formulas, premium ingredients for damn specific categories. And they've even said that uh, they're going to step things up, which we mentioned in our story on the site, I have to believe is going to mean that one of these supplements, if not both, will be new versions of superfood and pre-workout because you can only really step up something that was already set. So either they're going to step up their standard, and these are all gonna be even more so, we're going to get new versions of some of those originals, or we're going to get like maybe an elevated series. If this is all speculation, 
maybe pre-workout will stay and then we'll get pre-workout super or something like that. God knows what that's going to contain <laughs> if what they have and what they have is is, is there. I, either way, it's going to be an exciting finish to the year uh, and keep an eye out on Stag for all of that. Uh, next up, we go to, we've got two more stories. One is from Nuchabayo who, again, had pretty damn good um, teaser over the weekend. Now, Nuchabayo doesn't tease, teases, but doesn't tease that intricately all that often. So very similar to most brands. When you see a brand do something that's more so, like in this situation, be prepared, especially if it's someone as reputable as Nutribio. Now their teaser is a video of basically a, looks like a tub powder supplement, if I'm guessing. And I say this all the time, if a brand is teasing something in powder format, it's going to be a big category. And the, the size of this is quite stubby per se. So kind of like a, a fat burner and amino on a pre-workout. But if you're teasing it, my suspicion is, is that we are about to get some damn good Nutribio style loaded pre-workout. Premium pre-workouts have been on the rise for the last couple of years. Probably as far, I still say this, I stand by this, C4 Dynasty is arguably the first premium high price $60 plus pre-workout out there. That was several years ago. Wasn't really accepted as well as the many that are out there now when it came out. But nonetheless, it kind of set, I reckon it paved the way for what we've seen now. And I suspect the Nutribio is about to do precisely that. Uh, I would love to see what this turns out to be. Uh, Nutribio knows it's shit, obviously. It, Mark Glazier and the team over there can, can put together a supplement and product. You see this with all their products. The, the most transparent brand out there. They have you know shown how stacked they can get with supplements, with the Unbound series. So I'm damn excited to see. I believe there's another teaser out this week. May even be one scheduled right now, but it's all timed awfully well with Black Friday. So I would take a wild guess and say this thing's rolling out. I don't actually know. I know the team well. I don't know certainly what, when it's happening. I might have an idea on what it is, um, but yeah, keep an eye out. They'll be teaser by teaser and it and it all should like nicely culminate. I think if it gets out before Black Friday, that's just a great damn time to get in and buy round, right around there. Now, the last story we have is an interesting one. It is a very, very interesting one that I thought was, came across my desk and kind of just had to share. And it's very similar to the Costco story we saw not long ago, where Costco came out with a very cost-effective protein powder. And it was it was quite impressive in terms of formula. It wasn't, sometimes you get these, these big names doing traditional categories like a pre-workout and it just, just sucks. That wasn't the case with the Costco uh, protein powder. And that's, it's not completely the case with the new protein powder from Target. Now we outlined a few things about this and it's not a bad thing, but it's something to be aware of. So basically when you buy a two pound protein powder, let's just take Ghost for example, 45 bucks, I think it is, maybe 40. That's fairly traditional. If you've got a blend of isolate mostly and then weigh concentrate second, that means that you get more isolate than concentrate. It's more expensive isolate, it's more expensive than concentrate. It's got, you know, it's a more refined, leaner source, faster absorbing. So if you get mostly weight concentrate, it is inherently going to be cheaper. Now, keep that in mind. And then when you get additives, so let's just say I get 25 grams of protein per serving. 30 to 35 grams is pretty typical. So if you buy a two pound protein powder, you got 35 grams of serving it's a pretty, you're gonna get quite a few servings. You're gonna get a good amount, especially if it's 30 or closer to two. Now, if the serving is up to 40, obviously you may still get 25 grams of protein. However, you're going to get less servings in the tub itself. Now, with all this said, Target has launched a protein powder under its uh, Up and Up brand, its house brand. It is a incredibly priced. Now, given everything I just said, it is still incredibly priced. So we, you, even with all of it, it is $19.99 for two pounds, which is insane. Seeing a two pound anything <laughs> at that price, especially with today's the way that the, the prices of protein are and have become. Again, Ghost sits at 40, 40, I'm pretty sure it's 45. Then they have that 20% discount, so 36. And there's, I'm not saying this is the gold standard, but it's a very good measure. They do a great job in terms of value Ghost always has and quality formula. It's completely transparent, so you know exactly how much protein is coming from each source. Now, the target one is not a problem 
Now, again, I'm not knocking it each to their own. If you two pounds is good budget, fine. But hear me out on this. So each serving is 40 to 43 grams. So far up, so for every, let's just say you have, what's that, let's just say four, four times 30 gram serving, in 120 grams of powder, you'd get four servings at 30 a piece. From the target one, you'd only get three servings. So you scale that up, you can see what I'm saying. It distorts the value a bit, and it's worth keeping that in mind so you're not sitting there going, two pound versus two pound. It's not always exactly two pound versus two pound black and white story. So yeah, so the so the target one is 25 grams of protein. It's mostly from whey isolate. It does say, sorry, whey, whey concentrate. It does say isolate, but that is the far, far end of the label, which means that there isn't a lot of isolate in there. It would, it's very clearly primarily whey concentrate. You get seven to 10 grams of carbs, two grams of that sugar, three grams of fat, and 160 to 170 calories. So at seven to 10 grams of carbs, that is a very impactful level that Let's say you double scoop for 50 grams of protein, you're now looking at 14 to 20 grams of carbs. That is worth knowing about. And it is, again, if you're buying it for the purpose of just a lean source of protein, you're putting it in a smoothie, and you count your macros, you're going to want to know this. You're going to count this. And that's because there is maltodextrin in the supplement. I believe it is the, pretty sure it was high on the list. I can't remember where it was on the list. It, it, it's high on there. And, it, and it's not a, again, it's not a, it's not a problem if you know about it, like I said, if you're someone who's fine with that sort of thing in your supplement, I'm just bringing it up now so I can get it. Yeah, so it's way concentrate, then maltodextrin is the next ingredient, which means there's a good amount of maltodextrin. So that's responsible for the carbs. So if you're okay, if you're on a budget, this is a damn good option. And saying that if you're on a budget and Ghost makes a one pound, that well, 1.5 pound, that is going to bring down the the, the argument. I still don't think you're going to beat it like gram for gram versus protein, protein powder, but it is, a, it is a notable or distinct difference. And as far as budget friendly goes, this is right on the money. Again, I'm not trying to knock it if you don't mind the extra carbs and you're happy with the way concentrate primarily pr protein powder. $19.99 is a ridiculously good deal and it f suits right at home. I don't think there are many companies that are going to have a protein powder at $19.99 that kind of have that that value to protein balance. Even if you have Nutribio's Classic Whey, I think was the example we used on the website. That is, what was that one at? I'm trying to remember exactly. So they, they get 26 to 27 servings in a two pound tub, whereas the target one has 21 to 23. So again, definitely do your research on this if you're looking at it. It is great value. I don't want to knock it at all. I'm just trying to make sure that because most of the time we're sharing protein powders from supplement companies and they wouldn't go to the they don't, almost never i don't think i could even recall someone who's done a heavy soup serving like that with mo like heavy maltodextrin for it had been a while if i have to go back and try and think about it um but great value not the same as the costco one the costco one is a damn good very typical supplement company-esque formula and this is just a little bit it's more tailored for the budget-friendly market so congrats on them on putting together that solid of a competitor at that price point and just doing it the only way that makes sense two pounds 25 grams serving 40 to 40 grams scoop size so yeah you can read more about it on the website we go into detail a little more specifically uh, just about how to compare it again it is still a good deal but there are things worth knowing if you're used to those you know the nutribios the ghosts and stuff like that um but that is it for this weekend's ep uh, sorry this week's episode that'll wrap it up let us know if you have any questions in the comments, feel free to share the website. That's all we ask that you do to support us. Share the website, visit it multiple times a day. Get in on the rewards program, free supplements just for keeping and staying informed. Share the website with your mom, dad, brother, sister, niece, nephew, grandma, grandpa maybe. And I look forward to having you back next time.